Hey YouTube Rando here. It's gonna be our second video in our uh, restoration, reuse, repurpose videos. And we're just gonna be doing a three pound sledge today. Uh, I've got quite a few sledgehammers that need to be redone. We're gonna try to reuse this wedge. Uh, I, I flipped the hammer over and I tapped the head off very easily. Uh, it actually came off real easy. You can see this handle's pretty trashed, but we're going to try to reuse it anyway. Uh, it may be split there a little too far. I don't know. We'll have to sand on it a little bit and see where we're at with it. So we're going to start our sanding on this. We're going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, I'll show you how we do that process. And we're just going to sand this by hand. We're going to use the uh, angle grinder on the head here with an older uh, sanding disc on it. So let me get sanded on this a little bit and then I'll show you where we're at. Okay, so we ended up cutting this much off of the tip. Now we're going to have to trim this a little bit on each side. To do that we're just going to take a pocket knife and we're going to trim a little bit at a time until it gets down in that hole and is flush on this end. And like I said we're going to reuse this wedge but before we put it in there we're going to cut a little slot. Uh, probably about yay deep to keep this wood from splitting whenever we uh, put the wedge back in. So like I said I'm just going to carve a little bit off at a time like so on both sides. Uh, it should just be about right. That way I'm going to have to trim a little bit but I'm going to have to trim more here and here than anywhere from the looks of it anyway and really just down here so I'm gonna get that done and we'll come back Alright, so we sanded down the handle all the way. Uh, got it as good as I'm going to get it anyway. We've got the end shaved down enough to where this sits almost flush with the uh, head of the hammer here. And we went ahead and sprayed it with clear coat. I'm going to sand this end right here a little bit and smooth it out. And then spray this end with clear coat as well. Spray the tip a little bit. Uh, I don't plan on using this handle for good, you know, if it lasts me another year I'll be happy and then we'll go buy a, a hickory handle and put it on there, so I just wanted to show you something uh, when you go to paint the head of these things you, you really don't want to paint this surface uh, you can, and, but it's going to come off anyway, so what I do is I, uh, before I paint, I do a circle of Vaseline and then the Vaseline just wipes off. Uh, a little trick I learned whenever we were uh, painting motors at my shop. You just put a gas, uh, Vaseline or grease, you know, bearing wheel grease, something like that. So, and that stuff will just wipe right off. All right. So we got the handle. Uh, clear coated and you can see I cleaned off the bottom of the head 
that way I'm not trying to clean it up around the bottom of the handle uh, we still have to clean the rest of it up but I wanted to go ahead and set the handle that way uh, I have something to hold on to while I'm working on the head so now we're just going to take this mallet and drive this handle down in it a little bit at a time we may work from both ends uh, and then we may go ahead and try to set the wedge in there so I'm going to get this beat down and we'll be back alright YouTube completely done with the handle got it set got the wedge down in there uh, it didn't split any further than about right here where I cut it down you can see this handle's got a couple cracks in it that are rather deep I went ahead and sprayed some extra uh, sealer in there just to be safe and you can see I've got the bottom of the handle ready or the, the head rather and now we need to do the rest of it it still looks pretty bad and you don't actually have to do the heads of these you can just clean them up and leave them bare metal put a little bit of protectant oil on them and it'll keep them from rusting but I like to go ahead and paint them and whenever I scuff it say I go through a 4x4 uh, four four or something and a nail catches it all the way down it I just touch it up with a little bit of paint so I keep all my heads painted so they don't rust all, all I have to worry about rusting is the you know the actual flat spots so we're gonna get this cleaned up and what we're gonna use is we're gonna make this very simple use one of my wheels that I use on my uh, my fall knives and we're just going to clean this up, clean this up all the way around it get it ready for paint so we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and show you where we're at alright so we have it as cleaned up as I'm going to get it it's good enough uh, there's a little bit of rust in the pivots and whatnot and on the wording and we may take a uh, SOS pad or not an SOS pad but some steel wool and clean that up a little bit but not too much uh, so this is about ready for paint the bottom is done however completely so we're going to go ahead and tape it off and get it ready and we're just using a uh, painters tape some masking tape getting it as close to the handle as we can or as close to the head around the handle rather and you'll notice this tape will want to start going up because of the way the uh, handle shaped so you kind of have to pull it back down and then you'll have wrinkles that you'll have to go back and smooth out see like right here look how far up it is I don't know if you can see that or not so you'll have to go back around with another piece of tape on this side see it touches on this side and this side it makes it go up because of the curve of the handle so we're going to get this taped off uh, we're going to shoot it with some rust-oleum and then we'll pretty much be finished so we'll show you the end product on the next shot should be completely done by then uh, I have this one in the background this is one I've already redone <clears throat> and the only thing that needs to be done to it is the handle needs to be glued we're, gonna, we're just going to dab some glue on the handle where it's uh, recessed and then shove this down on there and let it dry this, this hammer was torched whenever I got it it was uh, actually about this long and the whole end of the handle was broke off and the rubber was chewed up so I trimmed the rubber down and got it to where it was about the size of my hand and then went ahead and cut the uh, wooden handle off to make it kind of even as even as I could get it anyway so we're going to glue that on there and then this hammer this hammer will be done so and this is this is the first one we did <laughs> we, we went really small we started small and then worked our way up but I have a lot of hammers that need to be redone all my hammers are pretty trashed so we're going to end up redoing all of them uh, all the ones I use anyway 
so like I said, we'll come back when after we get this one shot and it's dried and ready to show. So there you have it YouTube, uh, we're going to call this one done, I may go ahead and spray everything down in a clear coat again, you can see it kind of gives it a little bit of an extra shine and a little bit of extra protection on the head, this one's been sprayed, uh, I did this one the same time I did the handle, I did the handle and the head at the same time with clear coat after we had already painted the head black. So. I'm probably going to do the same on this one and go ahead and give the handle an extra coat of clear coat just to uh, just to be safe, you know. Make sure all our work don't get out in the drain first time the handle gets wet. So we'll go ahead and uh, call this one done for now. Though looks like a, almost a brand new hammer, you know. And I save some money because I don't have to go buy a new handle and I don't have to go buy a new sledgehammer. So. Always looking for ways to save ways to save money around here. Thanks for watching YouTube.